In a bill which would provide employees with exemptions from a federal or employer COVID-19 vaccine mandate passed both the House and Senate and now heads to the governor's desk. Now the governor has a decision to make. Here's what he had to say today. Uh, it appears that it will come to my desk and uh, I will make a decision whenever it gets here. I've expressed reservations about the bill because I don't believe in a federal mandate on vaccination. But I also don't believe in state mandates as well on employers and defining the employer-employee relationship. And today, both the House and Senate passed their congressional district map. However, there's been a lot of heated debates between state lawmakers. Folks, whatever we pass on redistricting stands for 10 years. Let's quit rushing it. Let's get it right. This map passed out of the Senate and a similar map passed out of the House. The map divides Pulaski County into three districts. Some lawmakers say this has impacts on black and minority communities. And the people I represent feel that this is a hellish map. It is prejudiced, it is hyperpartisan, and it's petty. I'm really, I'm really disappointed that at every turn in this body, it seems like the issue of race is continually injected into the discussion. Janine Perry with the University of Arkansas says this is the first time Republicans have had the majority in the state legislature while drawing a congressional district map in a long time. In this case, uh, by dividing up one of the major population centers, in addition to dividing up one of the major concentrations of reliable Democratic voters, um, which black voters in America tend to be, you are um, essentially diluting uh, the power, right, of, of that Democratic stronghold. Both the House and Senate passed a map that mirrors each other. But before a map goes to the governor's desk, the Senate will need to pass the House's version, and the House will need to pass the Senate's version. Could we make it perfect? No. But I'm tired of hearing some of the allegations thrown at members on all this stuff. They've done the best they could. So for us to say we cannot get a good map without splitting Pulaski County is just patently not true. It's a choice that's made, so I would appreciate folks just saying we've just made the choice to do it because we can. And the House and Senate reconvene tomorrow morning. And if the House and Senate pass a map or both maps, they will then go to the governor's desk. Reporting live in studio, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.